Silence, come you watch the red sunrise. The LED still flickers in your eyes. All you Hello and welcome to the practice problems video for section 2.9, Autonomous Equations and Stability. Okay, here's problem number one. We're going to analyze solutions of x prime is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. So the first thing to note is that this here is an autonomous equation, right? Because the right side depends only on x, and we don't see any independent uh, variables like a t or anything like that. Okay, so this is equal to like a function just of x, which is the thing that we want to find, right? Or not find explicitly, but to analyze, right? The solutions. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, try to graph this, this f of x. So in doing so, we're just going to factor out some things, so like an x, for example. So we're left behind with an x squared minus 2x plus a 1. And we can factor this further into x times x minus 1 quantity squared, all right? Um, so let's just graph this after we find the equilibrium points. And equilibrium points means when this is equal to 0, and that would be at x is equal to 0 and a 1, okay? So now we're going to graph our f of x, which is equal to x prime, versus x, okay? So this is going to be, I'll just write negative 2, negative 1, label our graph 1, 2, okay? So we have um, zeros or roots at 0 and 1. So we're just going to draw the dots there. And then this is a positive cubic, right? So it's going to have some kind of S shape. It's actually going to look like this, okay? So something like that. And then we'll see in each of these intervals which way should our arrows point. And, um up to zero, so from negative infinity up to zero um, for x, then we have our x prime is negative, which means that our x is decreasing, so our arrow points left. In uh, this positive region here, we our, our arrow is going to point to the right, and again, our uh, x prime is positive after that, so it's also going to point to the right, okay? So this phase line, I'm just going to pull that out here and draw it here. So we have x, here's zero, here's one, here are our dots, okay? And the left arrow is pointing this way. There's a right arrow here, and we have another right arrow here. So as we see, both uh, x equals 0 and x equals 1 are both at um, their unstable equilibrium points, right? So unstable equilibrium uh, solutions or points. You could put either one, okay? They're both unstable equilibrium solutions, okay? Um, because neither of them have both arrows on either side of them. Um, pointing toward the point themselves. All right, so the last step for this problem is going to be uh, to graph what, or like to sketch our solutions, okay? So here's one, here's negative one, here's zero, and we're just going to put a dot at both zero and positive one, okay? And they're both open dots because they're both unstable. We're not going to fill them in, right? And then we just draw our horizontal lines at, at both of these. This is our x is equal to zero, uh, solution, this is our x is equal to 1 solution, equilibrium solution. Okay, and then we just look at the arrows and those guide us. So when x is below 0, then um, our x is going to be decreasing, so that means going away from our line, right? So something like that. And then we have uh, in between here, we have our x increasing, but not really um, going to an asymptote, really. It's kind of just drifting that way, okay? So it looks like that. And then we have, um, when we go above 1, then it's increasing. So it'll be increasing away from that equilibrium solution. So something like that, okay? So our solutions look something like this.